Um, we came here because um, uh, Veda uh, invited us on Wednesday, and I had taken Dad to his doctor on Monday, and she gave him some just a regular checkup, and she gave him tests, and she was concerned, so she wanted us to come back and get a retest on a blood test, and so on Wednesday morning, uh, uh, she called, she said, come back and get another one Wednesday morning, so Wednesday afternoon she called me on my way home from work and said, um, your dad, I'm very worried, he's bleeding internally and he has anemia, and so you need to bring him to the ER right now. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll bring him to the ER. So we talked and she thought about it and she said, well, listen, it's too late probably to come to the ER because it's gonna be a long wait all evening why don't you just stay home tonight, Wednesday night, last week, and go, <laughs> she said, just come in the morning, and I've got, my friend is, is gonna be on duty, she's already agreed to admit him on Thursday morning, so if he doesn't get bad on Wednesday night, stay at home, and um, just uh, come in the morning, but uh, he's anemic and he's, um, he's bleeding internally, if you see any of these symptoms, leave home, immediately come to the ER in the middle of the night. So anyway, we came up here. Amen. And um, Amen. so we went out to, out to dinner down, uh, down the pipeline and we said, I said, hey, we're just down from that church that Veda invited us to, let's go there. So we went there, we came here and we didn't say anything to anybody about dad. So in we come and Pastor Tyrone sees him and says, you sir, we're a teacher. Dad was, tired, was a retired, retired teacher, and he, he felt he was a, um, was a preacher, and he had preached in college years ago when he was a student, and um, so then he, he came up and he prayed for Dad, and he told me privately, again, we never said a word, he told me privately, your dad has anemia and he's bleeding internally. <laughs> and uh, that was off mic, but y'all didn't hear that, but, but um, so he prayed for Dad, and there was a crack of power that, that happened, that it was a crack. You heard it, it poof, and we, I, it was startling. Startled Pastor Tyrone, startled me, startled Dad a little bit. Uh, so anyways, uh, so we, we did, uh, did that, and he said, look, go ahead and go on to the hospital tomorrow. The doctors, it's gonna be okay. They're not gonna find anything wrong with him, but go ahead and go on. So um, we went ahead and went home. Uh, nothing happened during the night. I go to the hospital just as directed Thursday morning, checks in. So they keep him all day Thursday and half a day of Friday. They checked him, they tested him. He had three doctors and a medical student. <laughs> it's a teaching hospital, so they'll, they'll come around, you know, with the three doctors and whatever. And they were really nice people. They prodded, poked, tested, took blood, made tests. Anyways, uh, dad kept saying, why am I here? <laughs> Yeah, I would say, Dad, we're in the hospital. The doctor wanted us to go to the hospital. And then he said, why am I, in the, two hours later, why am I here? I feel fine. He said, we need to be here. The doctor said so. So anyways, here comes, it was a long night. And uh, um, anyways, Friday comes up. They come up, they do another visit. And um, finally the, the doctors um, say, well, we can't find anything wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> 